All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm going to go into the Imperial City sewers. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a, a video on this. So you guys can learn how to do it. Uh, I'm going in to get a mythic item. It's probably not going to look good. If there are people down there, I'm probably going to die. So, yeah, I'm not really set up for PvP. I do have some PvP gear that I can put on. But right now I'm not going to put it on. Um, I'm going in to find the Hecta, Hectome Tacits, uh, General Cryozote boss in the Imperial City Sewers has it. Uh, I do, like I said, I do have gear. It's going to be the exact same gear that I have on, deadly. Uh, right now these are divines that I have on, but I do have an impenetrable here. Uh, my CP points are not PvP either. Um, I do have a basic set of CP points that I can put in if I find that I'm just getting hammered too much and we'll see what happens. Um, so when you go down there, probably any other time of the year, it won't be a problem except for this time of the year. Hopefully, I'm mistaken, hopefully everybody is up at Cyrodiil instead or up above in the uh, districts instead of down below. Um, so how do we get to Imperial City? What do they offer and what goes on there? Okay, so the first thing that you need to know is you get these things called Telvar stones. Okay, if you look on the right hand side, I have Telvar stones. I have 40 of them. Okay, these are multipliers. I believe it's 100, 1000. Um, the numbers I don't remember exactly. Uh, they are, let me, I'll do a search for this real quick and I will tell you right now. There is a multiplication on how much they do. Um, I know 100 gives you two times, 1,000 gives you three times, and 10,000 gives you four times. So that means when you kill something, you get a certain amount more based on that. Yeah, it's, there it is. Okay. So this is a, a kind of a weird place. It's kind of like a public dungeon, except you can get killed by other players. That's pretty much it. So you have to have, uh, normally you would go in with the whole PVP setup. Um, like my champion points here, I would probably put something in this one here. Okay, resistant. Uh, probably something in crushing blows. I don't remember where crushing blows is. I never use it. Let's see, I believe Shattering Blows, sorry, not Crushing Blows. I would put something here, okay, so I'd take some stuff out of other places and put something there. Even the way my my skills are set up, they would be different. Uh, probably wouldn't use much AoE, it'd be more combat directly sort of skills. So my skills like probably this one, um, I'd really have to research this a little bit more. I'm not a PvP player, but I would really have to look into it a little bit more. Uh, probably not this one or this one because they just get out of the way. These guys are much better than the game itself. Um, all right, so how do we get there now? Okay, well, that's pretty simple. We go to start, campaigns, Imperial City. Now you got to remember I am uh, CP. I'm going to go into CP Imperial because that's where uh, I'm using my CP on this one. Um, Okay, there are no, okay, this one I believe, yeah, these ones have no leaderboards. Now these ones, that one doesn't. Okay, so there are no leaderboards on any of these, so you really don't get anything out of it. And, okay, I'm not sure what the, what the difference is really on some of these. I know that this is CP and this is non-CP. Okay, and that's what's important to me. I have my CP, so. I'm going to go ahead and do that. My gear is not completely set up. Like I said, I'd have to completely do my gear. So I'm going to go ahead and enter campaign. Okay, we've got to wait until it tells us we're ready. Okay, and then I accept it. And it'll whisk me off. It 
it should. It's probably just filled up with people. We're having the uh, the festival right now. All right, so we've now arrived down in here, um, and what we're looking for is there is a boss. Uh, is he over here? I have to. I think he's kind of like right here. I think he's about here. Um, as I go, I'll look him up on the map and see. But let's go over to Imperial City here. Okay, so down here you have your general merchants and stuff, home goods, furniture. You have a bank. Okay, this is how you get into the sewers. Okay, over here you have your workstations. And over here you have stuff where people sell stuff. Now, there is some decent gear down here, actually, that you can buy with Telvar stones. Uh, it's mainly geared for PvP. Okay, so here's your crafting stations, all right here. Now, each side is going to be a little bit different. Um, I am in the Aldemiri Dominion side. Okay, so each person, this is a general merchant. Okay, now this one should sell. I think it's this one that sells it. Yeah. This enchanting piece here. Hakejo, I guess that's how you say it. Um, this sells between eight and 10,000 gold if you buy these. So if you come down here and fight for a couple hours, you get, I don't know, uh, 20,000, buy four of these, take them up and sell them, and you get the uh, gold for them. Uh, getting 5,000 stones is really not that hard. Um, it's actually pretty easy to get the stones just battling the mobs that are down here. The problem is, is when you run into another per player and they kill you, they take half your stones. So if I have 5,000 stones, they kill me, they take half my stones. Or if a mob kills you, you lose half your stones. Okay, so that's one thing you got to really look at there. Um, over here, we have, I believe this one sells. Yeah, this one sells the lockbox. Okay, so you can get a piece of Black Rose equipment out of here, so on. Okay, now the Imperial Physique is a, kind of a cool one. If you read what it says, if you have five item hunts, while you're in Imperial City, you tap into the power of the Telvar stones you are carrying, increasing your health, magicka, and stamina by 996. While you have a 4x Telvar stone multiplier, this effect is increased by six, uh, 600 percent. The problem with this gear is, is when you have it on and you have 10,000 stones, it glows. So everybody down here knows that you have all those Telvar stones. They're going to kill you. They're going to try it. Um, but it does have good uh, stats, if you see that, as recovery. Okay, adds spell damage, weapon damage. Okay, and it also increases your max health. Now this, I believe, is a blue. I think is what's in this box. Now there's another person. Okay, this one sells the jewelry. Okay, but you, you have to use Telvar stones, obviously, to pay for this stuff. Okay, and then over here, I believe it's this one here. Yep. Spend time in the okay, this one actually sells the pieces specifically. Okay, so if you just need a set of gloves, gauntlets, you can just get the gauntlets or gloves or whatever you need. Um, these are actually purple. Okay, I was I thought it was blue, but it's actually purple. Where is the shoes of the phoenix? Okay, I guess you can't buy that one directly here. You have to get it over there the special one for down here all right is anybody else here that we can look at their store okay so that's it for these guys here um this is where you're going to do everything now when you come down here you don't have access to your banker or anything so if i click my cat right now uh, he's my bank tells me i can't use it in this zone so make sure you have your things in order before you come down here or you can hit the bank right here. Okay, and he has your, he can do your stuff for you right here. All right, so let's go. We need to find the room with the ladders. Now there's a room with ladders. I believe should be here. Here we go. Okay, so this room here, there are all these ladders hanging down. 
Okay, this one, these ones take you to the Imperial City itself. Okay, so like this is the Arboretum. Over here we have the... Oh, I can get it. Let me go all the way up and we'll do it. It'll be better. Okay, the Memorial District. The Arena District. This one here is the Elven Garden District. The Nobles District. And this one is the Temple District. Now these are how you get to those areas up above. Um, not sure if it'll show me that if I come up. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so these are all the districts right here. Okay, you can see they're battling up here. They're they're fighting a lot. Um, uh, these are all the districts up here. Uh, there are bosses up here to fight. So if you need something, there was another lead that was up here on one of these that I needed to just kill a boss and get it. it took me quite a while to do it, but I got it. Um, this is the quest board here. Okay, so you can do your daily quests. And then there is also a quest giver. If you've never been I here before, you to thank for the this is the quest giver here. This is how you start the story quest. Okay, and then once you clear that out, then you get the scouting board to complete quests. All right, so that is all of that. Now, if you want to get out of here, you have to go. There is a door that just says exit right here. So this will get you out of the Imperial City sewers. Okay, this will take you back to where you came in. It's like a dungeon. Wherever you went in, you come back out. Okay, and this is the entrance to the Imperial City sewers right here. All right, so this is the interrogation tunnels. This is the Aldemiri Dominion. Um, the other uh, places have different names for the thing, but it's the same thing. You just go to a different place in the sewer. I believe this is Daggerfall up here. And this is Eben here. I could have those backwards, but you're going to be in either one of these if you're at Aldemir Dominion. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we have to find this guy that I need. So as far as I know, exactly how it is. Okay, so it looks like he's going to be right here in this room. So I got to make my way all the way through this. Now what you're going to find down here mainly is Daedra. Uh, Molag Ball is supposedly making a... Um, digging for something in the Imperial City. Uh, so that's almost all Daedra. Uh, you're going to run into the basic Daedra mobs. Um, actually, I find them a little bit weaker down here for some reason. I'm not sure why, but they are. Now the bosses down here in the Imperial, Imperial City sewers are similar to world bosses. Um, and they all they have all different mechanics so you might have to fight a boss a few times more than a few times to get it worked out and figure out what you need all right so we're gonna go through and we're gonna figure out what we got we're gonna try to get this all right so now we're in an area we're on our side but I believe still in this area you can be taken out so be ready at all times if somebody made their way all the way through here you can die uh, from other players now if I kill some of these guys now there are chests I uh, gotta put armor charge my weapon and they glow they glow in the dark it's kind of cool um, I'll show you as soon as we find one here Go ahead and charge them all, even if they really don't need it. Okay, that one's good. Alright, so we are going. Okay, so let's keep going straight through. Uh, I picked up, what, uh, 12 Telvar stones by killing those rats. Skeevers, whatever you call them. Alright, so I don't see... Looks like somebody's already been through here. Somebody's working down here right now. There is a boss right down here. There he is. Alright, so what... Uh, I have fought him before. Um, he uses the... Uh, clan fears a lot. They'll jump up on this platform and attack you, so... I'm going to go ahead and do this. 
See if we can get him to come off of this platform. Nope, he's not gonna come up. That was weird. My he won't stand up. Like he's hurt. Alright, there we go. Alright. And we'll get our stuff here, and now I've gone up to 126 Telvar stones. Okay. Key fragments. Uh, these are really good. Um, these help you to get into the trophy vaults. I don't think I have enough to get into a trophy vault, so I don't think I can show you. Uh, but it allows you to get special gear that's in the Imperial City sewers and Imperial City prison and you can get that gear. Alright, there we go. Oh. Alright, now these things here are kind of like, uh, um, I don't know, I guess you could call it like the um, uh, Dolomen maybe, kind of. Uh, you kill some mobs, more keep coming, and you just keep killing them until they're all dead. And then you get a chest at the end. There it is. Okay. I hit this, and there's a chest. Now this isn't the normal chest. Alright, got a treasure map. Got some Telvar stones. That's about the only good things out of there. Alright, the normal treasure chests are glow blue. Oh, there's a sky shard. All right. Oh, there's a treasure chest. It's glowing blue. As you can see, So there we go. There's General. Alright, it doesn't look like he has too much health. There we go. Got it. Okay. That's what we were looking for, the lead. Awesome. Alright, so now we're going to go to the middle. Um, so I can give you a look at that. Now we made it to the middle here. Um, this is the middle section. Okay, so this leads to a different faction. And this one also leads to another faction. Okay, and we're going to have to fight some guys to get to the middle itself, actually. Alright, keep moving through. Now, right here is where they're going to start popping up. It should be. Okay, hopefully we don't run into a bunch of other players at the moment.
they could be stealthing and you wouldn't even see them. Alright, so these guys right here are just normal Daedra. If I fight these guys, I get to fight a boss, and you get to go all the way around. Okay, so there's one here, there's three sides to this. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, let me do this. Inventory. Gonna put some stuff. Crown, there we go. I'm gonna sign that here, so as we need it. All right, so here we go. stamina. Yeah, that was my fault. I ran out of stamina there. And I would have to redo it all over again. So that's how you get there. And as you can see, I lost a lot of Telvar stones there. Uh, a lot, a lot. I need to bring a different character down here to do this. Um, but that was not my goal today. My goal today was to get the lead, which I did. Alright guys, that's it for the Imperial City... Imperial City Sewers. Um, it's very simple to get down there. As you can see, if you just kind of stay away from the bosses, uh, it's not too bad. I did get some Telvar stones. Uh, 2,585. I had a lot. I would have had a lot more if I wouldn't have fought those guys at the end, uh, and just came right back out. I probably had a uh, more than double what I have now. Um, so if you ever need to get down there, uh, you know how to do it now. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.